Um, we partner with universities to re-enroll students who have dropped out of college. Um, so essentially, we find the students who have dropped out. Universities call these students stopouts. Um, we've got some proprietary technology that allows us to find the correct contact information for the students, which is a big part of the missing piece. And then we work um, with many different strategies for how to both coach the students back into school and also to continue to make sure that they're successful once they're back in um, all the way through the graduation. Um, so uh, I don't know how many people here know, there are 30 million people in this country that have some college and no degree. Um, that means that they have debt, but they don't have value for their debt. Um, and they're in a vicious cycle of essentially having to pay back um, loans, but don't have the ability to do so because they don't get great jobs without college degrees. Um, this is a, a sense of like the fact that so many students are not finishing college, and you know, mostly we just find that so much of life gets in the way for students. Um, it could be a health issue, it could be a family member that needed some caretaking, it could be a financial crisis, it could be. Um, uh, there's just so many reasons, um, and this sort of articulates a few of them. And our former education secretary, I think, said it best, which is to say if you have debt, um, that is the real catastrophe, and you, and you have no value for your debt. Um, we find that most students really want to come back to school and that um, if we can really make sure that we're targeting, focusing on students who are most likely to succeed, we're going to have a great shot at really helping many, many of them come back to school. Um, uh, and, and we also are using a blend of humans and technology to allow us to support the students in the process. So we, we, we too are building out chat bots um, in Facebook Messenger to allow us to engage with the students at the top of the funnel. Um, and then uh, we use human coaches as well um, to really support the students in the process of coming back to school. Most of our, almost all of our coaches are first generation college grads. Um, half of them are people of color. They have deep empathy for the students that we work with. Many of them have had their own trials and tribulations with college. And they, in concert with technology tools that essentially allow us to go back and forth between transactional conversations or more transactional experiences, interactions with the students, and more emotional ones, sort of use a blend of humans and technology to really engage the students in the process. Um, this is sort of a, a slide around how we think about the integrated support. Universities have a lot of coaching that they do of students, but they generally don't focus on this population. So once a student has dropped out of school, by and large, they're kind of like gone, um, and the university doesn't really focus on them much. Um, and so our staff coach them on the front end, but then the university also plays important roles in supporting them. So this is really a partnership between both uh, Re-Up Education and the university partners. Um, once the students are back in school, we really want to make sure that they're successful the second or third or fourth time around. And so we really work hard to build a peer network for students. Um, and so we're uh, building that out in different various forms of, of Facebook groups or, or WhatsApp or Slack channels um, and different app. Um, uh, we're sort of experimenting with all that right now. And how do you make sure that you don't feel alone? We know that when students are connected to other students, they feel like they belong, and then they want to stick with um, each other and get through the process. So belonging and peer community is a really big part of how we ensure that students stay connected. We also really help them think about accessing the university resources. So if you need to go to the writing center and get you know, some help, extra help with you know, a chemistry problem set that you're struggling with, sometimes students don't want to do that because they feel like, gosh, there's maybe that means I'm not smart if I, if I go to the writing center. And so a big part of our support is really helping students take advantage of those resources and overcoming some of the emotional barriers and obstacles. Um, and then the last is we just know so many students really struggle with financing and so we really help them think about their budgets and their financial situations. Um, these are our first three university launch partners. Um, Western Governors University, which um, obviously is a very large institution and so we're working with um, many of their students that have uh, not finished um, along with Bellevue University and Clarion. So we have a mix of online um, universities um, and also on ground. Um, 
We've been serving students for just about six months, um, but we've had four start dates with our university. So we're a newer company in the higher ed space, um, and we've seen a lot of really exciting early results. Um, so we've sent about 600 students back to school in the last four months um, and are nurturing thousands of relationships with many, many more students. Um, we expect to see about 5% of the students that are in our funnel go back in a, on a given year, um, and probably 15% over a three-year period of time. Um, our goal is to help universities both bring students back and help them complete, and ideally help them uh, increase their graduation rates. Um, I think what makes us pretty special and unique is our business model. So essentially, we are a performance-driven contract, uh, we are a performance-driven company, and outcomes are top of mind for us in really, really important ways. And so essentially, when a university gives us a list of the students, and we then spend our energy finding them, coaching them, contacting them, engaging them, and coming back to school, talking to them about why they dropped out, what would it take for them to come back, um, we do all of that work for free. Free. And then just the students that we bring back to the university, we do some kind of revenue share. So it's recaptured tuition uh, or newfound tuition for the university, and we, and we take a, a bit of that um, to um, uh, ensure that we are all outcomes aligned and incentives um, incentivized in the right way. And then we continue to coach the students um, up until they finish school. And so that allows us to continue to partake in the revenue share, but only when students advance. And so the idea is that we are all marching to this in the same direction on behalf of the student. Um, I'm being told to wrap up, so I'll just say um, we are deep believers in second chances and potentially third and fourth, and we are finding that so many people, just if they, if they have people who invest in them, they want to be successful and they want to go back to school and finish their degrees, and we're so, so proud to be doing this work.